Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 53 of Let's Play the Prince and the Thane mod for Crusader of Kings 2. And uh, where we left off last, I was just calling calling videos by the wrong name multiple times, like four times in a row. If you have to know, if you want to know, I'm going to tell you whether you want to know or not. What ended up happening was um, basically I have a little system where like, I, you know, I check the f previous file before I start recording a new video, and that's how I know what to call it, right? Makes sense. Um, unfortunately, I accidentally got into my Elder Kings folder, and that was the, the last episode in that folder was episode 45. So instead of clicking on the Prince and the Thane mod folder, which was up to like 49, I think, by then, I saw 45. So I just started at 46 again. I had absolutely no memory that I had already done 46, 47, 48, and 49, or whatever it was. So anyway, this is, uh, this is what, 53, 23, 47, 72. I have no idea. I've already forgotten. No, I'm just kidding. I think it's 53. Um, okay, what are we doing here? We got some Holy Wars, and... I am Swithraid, the 22-year-old Englishman with no martial ability. Poor fighter, Kinslayer. Oh yeah, that's right, I murdered my brother. Sorry about that, Navarin. You'll be, you'll be missed. I don't even know why I named you. I knew I was going to kill you the second I was born. There's just no, way, no reason we would ever have a, a second, second Saxon boy. That's just silly. So, let me get my bearings straight. I plan on playing for quite a while tonight, so... Uh, I apologize if this one feels kind of disorganized because I'm just getting, you know, getting into it. But um, you know, the, the next few following episodes will be will be crisp and clean. Okay, <coughs> so we got this war. That one's gonna win. That's easy. These guys will go mm, probably just head right up to that county, and then that's one, two, three, and then I think one of these wars was something we got called into. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Not going to have to do anything about that one. Any plotting that we can do? My grandma is still alive. Why are you still alive, woman? 61 year old. <coughs> well, we're already, uh, already a Kinslayer, so I probably already tried this, haven't I? But let's just try again. Let's just try to kill her. Only one supporter. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Okay, how about we... Not that fast. Incompetent military ruler. Wonderful. New patrician house. Um, that's great. I really don't care about that. Because I'm not playing as a patrician. Vengeance is in my heart. Death in my hand. Blood and revenge are hammering in my head. Um, my opinion of that guy. Interesting. Did he do something? What what did he do to me? I've forgotten completely. Did he murder murder me? Murder somebody? Did he what did he kill my brother? Apparently I hate him for what? Murdered close kin and a rival. Well let's see if we can kill him. He's got some money, let's put him in prison. Oh yeah, we got totally good enough plot power for this. Actually, you know what? This might be a good opportunity. Let's not do that one. Let's do the uh Let's do the take revenge plot. I want to see what the outcomes from this are. Please, please, please paradox, give us an invite all to plot button. I mean, is there ever a time where, where, I mean, well, I guess if there's a bunch of drunkards in your court that you might not want to invite everyone, but generally you want to invite everyone that's willing to accept. <coughs> and actually something that I would love, and I've been trying to figure out how to, I, whenever possible, I'll just try to figure out how to do it myself. If it's not in the game, I'll just try. And so something I was trying to do, which I failed at, of course, because this potential plotters interface is somehow built into the core of the game. I couldn't figure out how it's generating this list of names. But what I wanted to do was put another button right here. Right? So this would be a button that would only only list people that are willing to accept your invitation. Just acceptors. And then 
and then another button that would show people that you can invite that are not willing to accept. And then you'd know, okay, these are the ones I'll invite, these are the ones I need to go maybe bribe. So that would just make sense, right? I mean, to me, that, that would just make sense. <coughs> can't be too sensible, though, can we? One thing I saw was that uh, the the amount of played time in this playthrough so far is is fast approaching, I think, 24 hours. And we're about, what, 70 years into the game? So if we keep playing this, like, all the way to the end of the game, we might end up getting, like, I don't know, somewhere between 80 and 100 hours or more. I mean, we've slowed down recently. Captured some people and stuff. Money. Oh, that's interesting. The Grand Principality of Novgorod owns this city. We'll have to do a county claim on that. Hmm kind of annoying when they get all disorganized like that. Looks like he's actually sieging my holdings. Silly guy. Nope. Don't care. Good. Thank you. Next. Um, hmm. I guess I can go there. Oh, wow. The t oh, crap. I didn't realize the game was still running. I thought I had it paused. Uh, yeah, let's create a new vessel. I need to fire up my little search interface. There's only ever one setting I set this to. It'd be nice if it remembered it between games. Um, any marriage, not ruler. English. Lord Stewart. Nice. Congratulations on your title, buddy. It's impressive. And another Englishman. Alright, let's wrap up these last two final wars. I think this county's about to fall. The only reason we're not winning is because he's got the, uh, he's got that holding there. So really we can just leave. Getting another holding won't matter until we start getting ticking war score. It's kind of an interesting way that they balance it. But what's this then? Sure, I'll help you out. Why not? Oh, yay, we've completed a city. That's great. Good news. Suddenly I have lots and lots of money. Take these two back real quick. Should push us to 100%. Just like that. Off a piece. Thank you. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that if you're this far into the game with me here, that um, you've probably learned quite a few of my tips and tricks. So I am going to do my, my best, I think, to try to start to play quicker. Because... Um, as I rose from my bed, I found a small bundle of documents that had been slipped beneath my bedroom door. The documents contained evidence of Earl Sigmund's plans to depose me and seize the throne. I must have him arrested. Well, that's obviously fabricated, but... Oh, goodness, known plots. There are so, so darn many of them. Ooh, somebody was trying to do something to my son. How about you? Where is that button? End plot. Thank you. No real plots against me. Do we have the released prisoner bonus? Doesn't look like it, so we'll find a random... Hmm. 
See, I, I usually like to just imprison low, low courtiers because they're easy to catch and you still get the 10 bonus uh, opinion. I could, I could probably imprison one of these dukes and then ransom him to himself for like 140 gold, but then I'd have a duke that doesn't like me, and that would have decreased my, my levy. And there's only one duke I could even, even do anything with, so I'm not going to consider it. Let's just do this, uh, yeah, you don't look like you belong here, you, you lapish fool. We'll imprison you, very, very high chance, because he's just a courtier, he's not landed. And we can still release him, and we'll get opinion bonus with everyone. Released prisoner plus 10. Wonderful. That is good news. And uh, let's see how we're doing on buildings. I think, last time I remember, we were nearly capped out on most of these buildings. We need to get improved keeps or castle infrastructure before we can start building these things. And I can't build a baronial village. What, what was that again? Has baronial village. That's this thing, which requires, yeah, castle infrastructure. How are we doing on that front? Let's check that out. Castle infrastructure's at 1.1. <laughs> Not well. That's how we're doing. Almost level 2 on improved keeps here. Yeah, not that great, really. And I remember I was looking at laws. <coughs> Do you remember how... We had this this Franken... I don't understand why there's no law selected. I thought that was strange. That it just wasn't picked. Because I was watching another video and... <coughs> like all... There was always at least one of those selected. But no matter. Uh, let's see. I want to... Check again and see... Okay, let's build some stuff. Yeah, we need that. And that. And that's going to do it. Now there's nothing else to be built. So from here on out, I'm either going to build the income generating structures in my vassals holdings, or I'll just build altogether new holdings. New holdings is preferable, but, you know, the thing about <coughs> return on investment, I know I keep coming back, I'm supposed to, supposed to be playing a lot, but like, take like this mayor, this mayor of my capital. Um, he is going to be my, my vassal for a very, very long time. And he's doing a pretty good job of upgrading his holdings. But keep in mind, I get all my modifiers, like the efficiency bonus and all that stuff. And this guy, if we look at his title, he pays me 2.85 gold per year. And I don't want to look him up because it would be annoying to try to find him in our list of 100 vassals. But if we just do some quick math, 2.85 out of 11, eh, that's probably about 30%. Or not 30, maybe 25%, I bet. I don't know. You know, he's paying 25%. So, <clears throat> if I were to build this, say, eh, local tax modifier, that'd be a good thing to build. If I built, like, the, you know, the local seasonal market, local tax modifier is 5% higher, plus 0.5 income, he's going to give me some money, which is good, but more importantly, he'll make more money, which he'll then in turn use to upgrade his stuff. And that is good. I want this to get upgraded. If, if a city gets really well upgraded, they start building things like the small university, which there's two levels to, and it increases the technology growth rate of the entire county by 17.5%, which is mu a multiplicative bonus with your other stacking bonuses. So, you know, you want your cities to get upgraded. I like that stuff. I love when they build fancy pants stuff. Fancy pants. What do you want? What? Alba? I'm going to ignore you. No, the Leech Loyalists are getting dangerous. Wow, look at that. Look at that defending army. Holy smokes. That is a very well upgraded thing. It's got a warrior cult. Look at all the garrison that they get. The Bajarmia Finnish culture plus 25% increased garrison. That's huge. And then the levy is probably multiplied too. 
They get a levy bonus? Looks like they don't. But what's what's interesting about the the levy is that generally the, the size of the garrison helps dictate the size of the levy. So these pagans have huge, huge defending armies. Twenty five hundred. Even at my peak, even even in my best holding right now, I've got twenty one hundred. So they beat me and I'm like way, way far ahead on upgrades and everything. So Yep, yep, yep. Revolts. Revolts everywhere. It's going to keep happening for a while. Somebody was excommunicated. It wasn't me. So I don't care. It was lifted on him, actually. So, yeah. Hey! I'm not a kinslayer! <laughs> Sorry, Navarin. <laughs> oh, that's sad. No one's even going to remember the fact that I murdered you. That's only a hundred piety. That's nothing. Thank you, Pope. Now everyone's going to love me. I'm an amazing ruler. My wife is pregnant. That's good. Let's see if we can wrap this war up real quick. We should be able to siege this. That one's going to fall soon. In a number of weeks. And I'm actually starting to get annoyed with some of these pop-ups, like the, the revolts and stuff. What's weird about this mod is that the, the revolts that pop up are not actually large enough to siege the holdings. So that's kind of strange. All right, so some war that we were not really a part of ended. We're only losing war score, 52% because he held the, the county. As soon as this falls, that'll go away. And it'll probably push it over the, over the top. Currently only have five out of the potential six holdings. What do you want, Holy Roman Emperor? Sure, I'll help you. This is one of those things I like to get rid of. I don't really care about siege events that much. Come on, fall! I bet we kill a ton of people. Nope, nope. Burned something down. That's sad. Hey, it's another daughter. That's better than a son, I guess, because we've already got succession loss problems. So, yeah. Money continues to flow through the trade post in Chester, but your relationship with the merchant family that owns it has soured. To teach them a lesson without going to war, you could arrange for a mob to burn it down. Why would I want to do that? I, I don't even understand this event. Like, I know it's supposed to be for patrician flavor, but, like, the trade post in this uh, in this county is increasing the um, the modifier for the city by 13.39 percent, which in turn pays me more. Why I why would I want it? No, I don't want to burn down the trade post. I like the trade post. I built the Republic family for a reason. All right, let's. Uh, one thing I'm going to turn off now is the siege. I'm going to turn off winning sieges. I'm going to turn off defeated sieges as well. Don't care about those. We'll just have them in the high priority list. That'll help, up, help out on some of the pop-up spam that's slowing our gameplay down. Let's go there. Peasant revolts. Don't care about that anymore. I do. I just I don't want to... Somebody wants to take revenge against Queen Mother Bon against my wife. Or my mom. I can't remember which now. Just stop it. Stop that. Don't be silly. And if we assault this holding back... 99%. One more quick engagement will be good. In fact, let's just assault this castle and get it over with. Thank you. Alright. I'm going to wrap this one up here. And in the next video, we will clean up the rebellions and uh, start to continue attacking somebody. Either... I don't know, kill my mom, kill my grandma. She's got to die eventually, right? Um, maybe we'll attack the Holy Roman Emperor. We're starting to get a little bit large. We just um, need to continue to expand. So thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.